We're now cutting across to more breaking news that we are getting on the broadcast and this concerns Prime Minister Narendra Modi's uh, Greek Greece visit. Now he has been conferred with the Grand Cross of Order of Honour by the Greek President. That is the latest that we are picking in. A huge honour for Prime Minister Narendra Modi. Remember the first Indian Prime Minister to visit Greece in four decades and now he's been honoured with the Grand Cross of Order of Honour by the Greek President, one of the highest honours to have been received by an Indian Prime Minister while he is in Greece. My colleague Siddhant has more details. Yes, Siddhant. So, uh, so we have uh, we have been getting this uh, confirmation and perhaps the photographs are also out that Prime Minister Modi has been accorded with the highest honour of uh, Greece, which is the Grand Cross honour of the order of uh, of the order of honor by Greek president Kajrina Sakelara Opolo in Athens and this is right after the bilateral meeting that prime minister held uh, with uh, the president and in fact uh, uh, this was uh, a sudden uh, announcement by the indian side that prime minister is going uh, to go to uh, Greece uh, right after his uh, uh, BRICS summit engagement, and uh, this is a one this is a one day visit of Prime Minister, and perhaps by late in the evening he will uh, depart to India. But this one day visit is significant with regard to security and defence cooperation, as we have been highlighting since morning that uh, that Greece and India has a deep uh, 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 understanding, and, and perhaps you know on various issues. Greece and India uh, have stood with each other. Uh, where, uh, when it comes to Greece, then India has always stood with the people of Cyprus. When it comes to Greece, Greece has always stood with India on the issue of Kashmir. In fact, in 1998, when uh, India uh, did the nuclear test at that point in time, when the whole world and perhaps majorly the Western nations cornered India and even the sanctions were imposed on India, uh, at that point in time also Greece supported India. So the relationship goes uh, uh, is is uh, is offered uh, is based on trust and mutual respect for each other. Uh, but the unfortunate part is that from last 40 years, uh, none of the prime minister ever thought about uh, uh, going to Greece or perhaps uh, you know uh, increasing uh, uh, the level of uh, engagement with Greece. This is Prime Minister Modi's. Uh, 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 initiative or perhaps the step that he has taken uh, to uh, to uh, uh, to take this visit to Greece and and we have also been told yes. that this is uh, India's uh, 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 this could be India's fresh Mediterranean policy with mm. regard to uh, the trade group that India wants to explore other than Chabahar yes. um, uh, you know uh, from India to Arab Gulf countries and from Gulf countries to Mediterranean countries. Hmm. So that is an idea, and perhaps we uh, we can expect Foreign Secretary uh, to speak shortly or or a joint statement uh, by both okay. the leaders, in which we can expect some sort of a big announcement, major takeaway from Prime Minister Modi. Absolutely, thank week. you so much for that, Siddhant. And we are of course waiting back here and standing by for that statement to be released by Prime Minister Narendra Modi. In fact, this very announcement was made by the Prime Minister himself through his Twitter account, where he had mentioned that he's been conferred with the Grand Cross of the Order of Honour by the Greek President. Well, on that note, we are slipping into a very short break. We're coming right back with lots more that's in store for you on CNN News 18.